We are living in unprecedented times. Children literally have the world at their fingertips with access to instant information that invariably forms their worldview. While technology can be a blessing, it can also contribute to high anxiety, depression, and lower levels of social engagement. Coupled with the idea of a worldwide pandemic, polarizing politics, and social tension, it's no wonder our children are searching for something much more. Well, at Maranatha, our mission is to empower students grounded in Christian faith to be co-creators of tomorrow. Here, we strive to be different than the world. We're a place where grace is given, love wins, and unity is undeniable. We endeavor to build unity by creating a kingdom culture that challenges and equips students, parents, and staff to respect and value all people according to God's word. We can and will be a place where differences are applauded, opinions are respected, and questions are encouraged, leading to great discussions and ultimately genuine and real answers. As a graduate of Maranatha, uh, I've witnessed firsthand the growth and the maturity uh, of the school into what I think is a direct representation of the kingdom of God and what God wants his kingdom to look like. We've got so many students from all kinds of different backgrounds. Uh, the diversity here is recognized, we see it, and we, we, we recognize it every day, uh, but we know that we've got work to do as we navigate this path to unity together. Uh, we're striving to engage our students every day in meaningful conversations about things going on in the outside world. Uh, we don't shy away from it, we, we, we see what's happening. So I'm very proud to be an alum of this school, but I'm so, so happy and excited to see uh, the direction it's going into. It's unreal that less than a year ago, life was normal. Now we're navigating things that no one would have predicted. Yet God is in control and has a plan. He's prepared Maranatha for such a time as this. As a matter of fact, the school's culture and action statements that the Lord gave us two years ago included being empathetic problem solvers, curious change makers, and gracious community builders. How appropriate for our current situation. In addition this year, God gave us 1 Corinthians 1.10 as our theme verse, which reads, I appeal to you brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but you be perfectly united in mind and thought.